So the daily different viruses, trojans, malware is going ahead and getting updated. Previously it only ran on computers. Nowadays it even works on Android or your iPhone, even the Windows platform. So you need to know each and everything and when you are going ahead and gathering information, let's say you are a penetration tester and an organization has hired you. So you need to make sure that you use each and everything up to uh, that you have under your pocket, inside your pocket to go ahead and try to penetrate this organization because that is your aim. You need to know, you, uh, you need to think from a uh, malicious hacker's point of view as to how would they try to gain access. And it's not just by typing codes or going ahead and let's say writing trojans or backdoors or trying to penetrate the firewall because it should be quite uh, hard if you ask me because just go uh, you cannot uh, you're not we are not bill gates or let's say steve jobs to go or even uh, aiden ps or something like that to go ahead and write some extreme uh, codes that could go ahead and penetrate the cisco firewalls or something so that does not happen in our day to day life as you see in the movies to go for if we need to go ahead and penetrate an organization cal linux is the best for operating system that I have ever come through to go ahead and gather in my uh, in my whole life so you can go ahead and write even write your own uh, let's say programs be it in C or Python or uh, whatever whichever language you want and you can just go ahead and target it to a specific uh, person or an organization so yes that's how it is so to start with I would like to tell you that if some person has uh, hired you for going ahead and let's say uh, you won't be thinking that how will I go ahead and penetrate someone's organization if I write some Trojan but that is uh, I am not able to penetrate through the firewall or I am not able to get a specific IP address and how do I go ahead and how can someone a malicious hacker can go ahead and get uh, into an organization's uh, system then at that point of time there comes something which is called a social engineering social engineering is a type of con that you go ahead and con into someone to Gain information and any kind of information it does not require what information is that so in this tutorial that I would be teaching I will be telling you some case studies in between as to how there were some penetration testers who went ahead and gathered some information uh, through the clients itself and and they didn't even knew that they were giving out some important information and then they went ahead and hacked into their personal systems and told them that these these are the ways that any kind of hacker go ahead and they get your access into your organization so that is what ethical hacking is and um, after that there are footprinting and reconnaissance that you need to go ahead and gather information which operating system the people are using let's say uh, what they are working on exactly what kind of firewall they are which antivirus uh, they are using and loads of stuff after that we need to scan networks as to which IP address they are uh, again which IP address they have uh, what are let's say what are the sources of IP address between which range are they exactly uh, things like that after that we need to go into system hacking trojans backdoors we need to know what viruses and worms can do and when we talk about viruses virus worms trojans backdoors malware these are all different things there are multiple types of viruses like polymorphic virus or you can go ahead and take something like let's say the trojan which is the most famous and the dangerous one because you don't actually know what it is doing in the background and what information it has already given out that's the reason and viruses and worms normally go ahead and destroy your computer whereas trojans and backdoors give out your information from your computer to someone else so at some point of time virus and worms i am not saying that they are good enough but they are, they are not the worst part because uh, you know okay fine uh, they, uh, they, my system is damaged and they have corrupted all these firewall or something so you know what is happening but in, uh, in case of trojans you don't actually know so in this tutorial uh, in these tutorials that i would be teaching i will also teach you something about forensics that would help you uh, gather much information about how it works actually and uh, how you can go ahead and check if someone has used a trojan to go ahead and get access to your computer to view event logs to view which all permissions were given out by your system not only on your computers or your laptops but also uh, with your pdas your tablets or with your cell phones especially android because android runs linux and it is one of the most uh, you can say as uh, vulnerable uh, out there until unless you know what you're doing with linux you can also secure that but Finally, it comes to social engineering. If someone tries to con you and insert some kind of malicious program in your cell phone, 
then no one can help you out and there's a famous saying that instead of me telling you i'll just go ahead and show it out to you on google i'll just go and type social engineering and why social engineering is much more important in ethical hacking i'll let you know because because uh, let's say you can go ahead and patch a software or you can go ahead and create a software or even sometimes impenetrable software but uh, let's say thousands and or you can say lakhs of people are, are working on some kind of uh, let's say a software you can understand that one single person cannot go ahead and penetrate or try to find a specific vulnerability where thousand people have helped to create a specific software or any antivirus so but at there is one thing which is vulnerable to everything that is human nature and at that point of time social engineering comes in between i'll show you a famous quote as to what social engineering is let me just go ahead and open this out okay as you can see over here that social engineering is the clever manipulation of natural uh, human tendency to trust so and this is my favorite part over here you can see social engineering is the best because there's no patch for human stupidity and that is true uh, if you're thinking about softwares you can patch them you can give get give out or shell out security patches to them or you can go and secure them at one point of time but uh, as of humans you cannot there are different types of ways in which you can go go ahead and gather information and the person who is standing in front of you who is giving you out the information won't even know that he is giving out information so there are several ways i'll let you know each uh, one by one everything in these tutorials starting with everything so the first topic that we'll be get, get, getting into would be the introduction to ethical hacking how it works and how it is different from movies and what important things are that you need to consider when you are trying to gain information and you need to set up your own lab before you go ahead and try to gain access to anything and uh, yes after that there comes enumeration sniffing denial of service attacks session hijacking we hacking web servers web cameras web applications sql injections and even you can also go and penetrate into let's say wireless uh, applications such as a wep or wpa wpa2 psk wi-fi modules then uh, hacking mobile platforms evading honeypots firewalls buffer overflows then going ahead and finally into cryptography and forensics as to how we can go and gather them so there are specific let's say courses out there on ethical hacking as well but if you need to keep yourself updated then uh, you don't only need to go ahead and gather information by looking on the web you need to go ahead and try it out on your own computers before you can go down and try out on someone else's so these are things that are important and uh, in the next tutorial i'll be touch it uh, i'll be starting with the main that is what is ethical hacking and stuff so that is it for this tutorial have a nice day ahead